So Roy, uh, exciting day for Plymouth Argyle today. Peter Reid coming in as new manager. Yep, uh, we're looking forward to it. Uh, it's been uh, seven or eight weeks uh, whilst we've dis looked at who we could bring into to uh, Argyle, and uh, I think at the end of the day, it came down to the manager who uh, showed the most passion about coming to uh, to Plymouth, and that was Peter by a long way. You've had, uh, like you say, a lot of weeks to think about it. Lots of names been mentioned, but what really sold you, Peter Reid? Purely his, his proven record for um, of success in the Championship and in the in the Premier League. He's managed internationally. His playing career. He's got all the credentials. His contacts are phenomenal. He knows everybody. But I, I like the way he presents himself. Um, the way he talks. Uh, he, he lives and breathes football. Uh, he's a, he's a great guy. So Roy, you've also said about um, the, the process of interviewing all these uh, various managers. Mm. And that it's been tough tough selection, but you no doubt grilled them all and uh, what you want to bring to the club and uh, yeah, the future and, of the club. And we were very clear about the uh, aims and aspirations of, of uh, the club and uh, the limitations in the, at this stage on, on budgets, for, particularly for players. But um, I think everybody accepted and understood where we are and uh, the only way of changing that is to achieve success and to get the fans back in your home park. And that's what we must do. It's tough times in, in life, in economics mm. and everything. Uh, as you mentioned in the press conference there a moment ago, mm. you've got to trim this squad a bit. Yep. Well, it, it's clearly top-heavy. Uh, and uh, I mentioned that I'd compared our squad to Notts Forest when I went up there last season. And uh, you know, we had a dozen more than that. It's just not sensible. So clearly it needs some action. But when you look at the squad, it will be a very strong squad, I'd imagine, It'll for League One. It will be a strong squad and hopefully some good, strong youngsters. Uh, you know, that's, that's what we need to work on, the basis of uh, our, our youth coming through. When Peter spoke to you about uh, where he wants to take the club and that, what's he said to you as, from a managerial point of view? Well, he's very keen, as I said, uh, in the conference to, to achieve success. He's desperate to show that he can manage uh, a football club and uh, we're confident he can and uh, we're going to help him help him do it. <laughs> Off the field though it's looking really good as well, the new pitch is uh, coming on leaps new and bounds. New pitch is coming along, it's ahead of schedule um, and we're pleased about that and we'll get rid of that little dip in the corner uh, <laughs> and uh, hopefully we won't have any abandoned games. We're only a few weeks now away from the start of pre-season and then obviously mm -hmm. the season as a whole. Um, it's exciting though isn't it and this it's, is when people get... It's great, yeah. uh, the players come back very shortly and, uh, and Peter will get to grips with the training and then they're off on their tour, uh, a couple of games in Holland and a few more friendlies and uh, yeah, it's looking forward to it. Excellent. Thank you, Sir Roy. Pleasure. Thanks for your time.